the injector rod. See you later. Nice big developed lip on it. Looks very good. I just want to eat now, so turn off the camera, please. I'm Adventure Man Dan, a regular guy who's living life to the fullest. What I do, many think is crazy, but life is either a daring adventure or it's nothing at all. For years, I've taken every opportunity to explore around the globe. But now aboard my sailboat Adventureborn, I'm the master of my fate. So join me as I travel by the wind, play in the waves, harvest food from the depths, and teach those who sail with me aboard Adventureborn. I'm probably gonna go do a little bit of spearfishing these cuts here that get a ton of current through them. It's not really anything that good to get there, but you know, maybe just some mangrove snapper, just something to get some fish on the boat, you know, first fish of the season kind of a thing. Okay, we now have had some lunch, we're anchored, we're settled. It's a beautiful anchorage so far. I think it's gonna work out really nicely. It shouldn't be too bumpy, even with the wind coming up. It's always good when you're on a sailboat with somebody else to spend time apart. So she is gonna swim to the beach. I'm gonna swim up to the rocks and try to get us some dinner. Conch or fish is pretty much what's on the menu. Lobster season's out, so I can't get any lobsters no matter what. Bummer, but it's okay. It's always the odd channel cleaning crab or maybe a slipper lobster. Those are always in season. Yeah, we'll see what we get onto. I need to get my gear set up. This is my uh, pole spear from Neritic. It is a roller style where the power comes from. And you get a lot more power because it rolls. You get the whole distance. It's always under tension from here all the way up. Middle section. Self-explanatory. End piece with the injector rod. And this then all uses a slip tip. But the whole point is this goes in and then toggles on the fish like that. So it's a pretty effective system. I've used this before. Neritic makes an absolutely fantastic pole spear, especially really for the reef. This is a heavier pole spear, it's big, heavy duty. So it's uh, you know, gonna take a little bit of oomph to get it going, but when it hits, it hits really hard. And uh, even a big grouper has a hard time, you know, bending this thing. My mast set up, my fins, my, I'm gonna run a, probably just a wetsuit top and lycra bottoms. This is the Neritic pole spear fully rigged up. So we'll see, I'm gonna get in the water, mess around. I might take out the middle section and just go with a shorter version but it'll be fun no matter what. All right, Maru, so where are you gonna go off to today, do you think? I don't know, just exploring around. Let's see, I just usually I just follow fish. So oh. if I see something, I'm just gonna keep following. <laughs> like, I need a turtle. It only took a few moments for Maru to find a fish, but instead of her following it, it followed her. This cute little fish was a baby remora, which she quickly named Remorita. Morita was apparently much more exciting than watching me get into my wetsuit. <laughs> I finished donning my dive gear and hopped in. Guess who I saw? Ramorita. Morita! I'll be honest. This is one super cute little fish. Look who I found trying to follow me again on the way out. So the first thing I always do when I get to a spot is I check my anchor. Obviously I'm already diving, so I'm already here. Let's do it. Let's see how well dumped. Dug in my anchor is. So my anchor is not super well dug in, but I kind of set it with like no scope to begin with. I'm gonna put on a little more scope and be fine. We have this whole bay to ourselves to drag to. As the wind from right here switches to over here, I'm not worried about it. Since I didn't have a motor for the dinghy just yet, 
I swam out from my sailboat along the shallow waters to where the current ran through stronger. Getting a sense of the area along the way and seeing what it might hold, and hopefully what I might find for dinner. This conch had already been harvested and the shell discarded, but it was of substantial size with a fully developed lip. Just a horse muscle in the sand, not edible. Now look what I picked up, a slightly bigger remora than Remorita. I would call this little guy Remora Jr. and he seemed determined to stick with me the whole day. No matter where I went, it seemed Remora Jr. wanted to follow. It was kind of cool having this little guy join me. He was my little fishy friend for the whole day. Found this conch, though I don't think it was big enough. Now that I was at the area with better current and a little bit more depth, I could start hunting and looking for structure. Pretty quickly, I found this little Nassau grouper, but he was a little too small to shoot in my opinion, so I held off. Then I just kept swimming around. This was the sort of area I was looking for. Tons of current in front of me, causing a congregation of fish. Mostly gray or mangrove snapper, far too many to count. But still I'd lay there and waiting to see what else might happen. After throwing my throw flasher up current and letting it drift back to me, I was confident that there was no larger grouper or snapper that I might spook if I went to dive in there. So I dove into the bowl of snappers. It was amazing! So many fish all around and surrounding me. I was in paradise. The vast majority of these were gray snapper, and most were of perfect eating size for Maru and me. I just needed to take my time and aim for a slightly bigger one. But which one? There! The shot was good, and I quickly started pulling the gills out of my fish, my preferred way to kill a fish and best preserve the meat. Plus, I was able to give a bit to Remora Jr., who ate it right out of my hand. Incredible. But I really wanted Remora Jr. to eat more so he'd grow up big and strong and suck her onto a bigger and badder predator. But. Unfortunately, I only pushed him away. Aww, bye buddy. I still wanted a little bit more for dinner, so I kept hunting up current and to see what else was around. So far it just seemed to be like a million more gray snappers and some smaller tropical fish. Though there was this one rock that held a substantial amount of fish, I was hoping for a bigger, maybe grouper or snapper, but I had no such luck. After spending a few minutes on the bottom to see what else would come around, I decided it was time to start swimming back home. But not before finding this large, healthy, and mature queen conch. This one did have a large, thick, and developed lip on it, and would be coming home with me for dinner, though it was still a ways of a swim back to the sailboat. Along the way back, and in different open terrains, I spotted several other species that I would have liked to have taken for dinner. 
but unfortunately there was no cover or way to get closer to them. So instead, I just enjoyed the swim, of which there was plenty to do. There was the odd small hogfish, but I didn't want to take a fish that small. Just before I got back to my sailboat, I found this lone cute puffer fish in the turtle grass. I just remember how brilliant its eyes were, and how it looked super shy. So I gave him some space and swam on. finding a little shell and bringing it back for the collection. Home sweet home. Time to let Maro know I had dinner. Guess she was napping. <laughs> I felt proud in loading my little catch. Not a whole lot, but enough for a beautiful, delicious, and healthy dinner. Fine. Oh, wow. I held the shot on two Nassau grouper that I just didn't think were very big, but that's a lane snapper. They don't really get much bigger than that, but they're, they're very tasty and they're very sustainable. There's about a million of them. So yeah, I just went with a small little fish and then I found this conch with a nice big developed lip on it. I think there was one other conch I found but I just didn't think it was big enough so I left it. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Saw, saw sharks, saw moray eels. I had a remora about half the time on me. Super <laughs> cute, I had tons of footage with them. Yeah, I know, a lot of things happened, a lot of fun. Hopefully I got it all on camera but now I'm gonna make some dinner. This is a, Pretty nice sized conch, beautiful color, nice and healthy. Nice full developed lip on it. It's really what you're looking for. This flange that comes up and it's nice and thick. That's what you want. It's all tucked away in there. Now we got the cut. Here we go. It all comes free. You can discard the shell. I am so out of things. It was pretty good. Spear went in right here, right where I wanted it to, and then exited through the head, through the eyeball. I was even able to feed that little mini remora. Uh, I'm just gonna fillet this one today. As you can see, I'm pretty quick at filleting when I'm hungry. Just enough meat for a dinner for two. That's all we want. Bone. Yeah. That's it. As fresh as it gets. Okay, so here we have the fish fillets from the gray snapper I uh, spearfished today. The conch I just got done cleaning a little while ago. Let it rest in the fridge for a little bit. Maruzia made some delicious uh, rice, and then I promptly added a bunch of cheese. Uh, my favorite Chipotle Cholula, uh, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, as well as some dill, because I like dill. And then we have here uh, kind of coalescing and getting infused into the oils of uh, Irish butter and olive oil. We have garlic, uh, a little bit of Italian herbs and spices, smoked sea salt. Obviously, we got garlic right there. What kind of peppers are these? Wahiu. Wahiu peppers. Maru is turning me on to them, they're very good. But anyway, all these herbs and spices right now are all kind of just getting infused into the oil. So I'm gonna drop the fish fillets in and get those started. Well, this is dinner and this is how it's done on the boat. You happy about that? Yay. Maru, tell the audience what we have for dinner tonight. We have a uh, fish and conch with wahiyu pepper and a little garlic. 
Looks very good. I just want to eat now, so turn off the camera, please. <laughs> she has a point. It's time to eat. Maybe we'll do a time lapse of us eating. No. I was so happy to finally be settling into the Bahamas at a good anchorage, enjoying the fruits of my labors. But this enjoyment would not last. An unforeseen storm was brewing on the horizon. Check it out in the next episode. Thanks for seeing this adventure through to the end. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something, or were inspired to choose your own lifestyle of adventure. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button to see more videos like this and help support my channel. I post new videos as often as my chaotic lifestyle allows, but if you'd like to see more content now, check out my Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, and website for everything else or if you're interested in joining my crew aboard AdventureBoard. See you on the next adventure! The all-new wind-powered Maverick. Simply turn it this way.